All right, everybody, welcome along to episode number 14 of our Outer Wilds Let's Play. I hope you're all well. Welcome along, everybody. And yeah, on the back of last night's episode, it was uh, it was pretty tasty, I've got to say. Finishing off The Stranger and the DLC last night. And um, yeah, it's going to feel a bit strange tonight because it means we're back on the regular questing. We are back with... Um, exploring our solar system we have a few more little pieces left to tidy up so i don't know for sure but i have a feeling that if not tonight maybe the next stream we do of outer wilds we could even be sort of end game territory um of course if you enjoy the video please make sure you like and subscribe thank you very much Anne. um but yeah we um i've got a couple of areas I kind of want to look at one is more important than the other and um, yeah a bit of a, a bit of a um, one is a bit more of a something we missed it's a very minor detail but something we missed which I might go and tackle first and then second is going to be a whole new area and um, that's going to uh, hopefully open up to more um, end game kind of material and sort of paths but anyway i'm going to stop trying to um waffle my way through this instead i'm going to click the x button and we're going to load the game and jump right back in for part number 14 of outer worlds kong clan has put the final nail in the coffin here all right that's better sorry about that guy's shoe <laughs> all righty then so let us head to our craft and we need to set ourselves a brand new waypoint which isn't going to be the stranger also uh oh, i won't set my timer just yet hey leo thanks very much i i did mean to message you earlier on because i didn't i didn't know if you would finished or not um i didn't know if you were still holding off or whether or not you have actually completed all the uh, the dlc stuff so um now you gotta smash that like button lb we gotta smash it because by smashing it, we all need to go and buy new monitors. All right, so um, we are going to, if I can remember. First things first, this is a bit of housekeeping, which um, LB made me aware of. And it was that we actually missed one of the um, entry logs on the vessel. Uh, sorry, it wasn't the vessel, was it? Uh, okay, we need to de autopilot for a moment. Get around the sun. Right, we don't want to go to there. We actually want to go to the third escape pod, I think. Uh, da, 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 da. Two distinct beacons from the vessel. Yeah, okay, so that's the one we want. Yeah, no, no. I just want to. I want to tidy it up. I want to tidy it up right now, and uh, make sure we've got it. It's on, been on my list for the last two weeks. I know it's very minor, but I do just want to. Draw a line under it and tick it off. So, um, yeah, we're going to head on into this and just check out the, um, the final entry on the uh, escape pod here. If I can remember how to get to it, of course. And not get eaten up by these anglerfish. This is the one where the anglerfish are just chilling. 
Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe not. There is one where literally you, you go straight in and the angler fish be chilling. Okay, that is not it, but we have found where we need to be. Daft Punk helmet number three. I don't remember here actually where or what the gravity is like on Dark Bramble. So, give me a sec to. Uh, sure. Stay, stay, stay. Alright, so let's jump out. So, um, the bottom one I think said, uh, mortally injured, launch into pod three. Multiple collisions have altered the pod's trajectory. Must support error, propulsion error. Scan exterior environment, scan complete. Gravity not detected. Breathable air not detected. Uh, multiple life forms detected potentially hostile. Verdict do not exit the pod. Okay. I was about to say, why can I hear that noise? But of course, it's the distress beacon. Of course, it makes sense. Okay, so that was all I really wanted to tidy up here. Um, so, having done that, we're going to restart the loop already. So, yeah, that's what we um, can cross that one off. The vessel missing log at the bottom of my list. Just getting more and more things crossed off it as we uh, go. So, now, I have observed something. I observed something. Which was um, in a previous episode. Um... When I was flicking through some bits and pieces. Um, kind of a little bit prompted by LB at the point, but uh, I had a good look. And uh, I feel like... I feel like... I know where I am going. Um... Uh, I guess I can't navigate there as such. I don't think I want... No, I do. Okay, I do want to be over here. So. Um, going back about two weeks, when we were last um, really exploring this solar system... We kind of came to a sticking point. I think I'm streaming to a meditation loop. I do apologise. Um, we were stuck. At, we were kind of stuck at a point whereby we were identifying the towers. However, the problem was we weren't able to bypass. The K 
cactus. Cactus was causing us an issue. However, I believe I have worked out how to get by them. And I don't know if um, I don't know if you, you were pointing me into a particular timestamp for me to pay attention to that LV, but I did notice something um, in the video you timestamped. So uh, we've just got to, though, unfortunately, wait round this uh, I don't know what it is about this but I can never sort of oh I know exactly what it is actually because that's pushing me off isn't it which is really not a good place to land the ship <laughs> uh, well the in the 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 thing in question was just a time stamped comment with um, uh, a pair of zoom eyes. That's all it was. Yeah, it's it's I've I've I i i do not know why I'm trying to land on that to be honest. Uh just let me take this waypoint off. Uh, it was up here, wasn't it? But Just leave the ship there. Maybe a case that the ship's just going to completely get destroyed. But we need to be. Here. We need to be here at the right time. It's almost like that you've turned, you, you've shut down the engine, and you've come, you, you've like been just been chilling for I don't know how long. Quite trippy, actually, looking at that like that. But yeah, there is the interloper. Holly ho, old chap. Holly ho. All right, so we are waiting patiently. So uh, while we're waiting for this to come through, I might as well explain the, the, the course of action here. So we know this is the tower. I say I know. I hope this is the tower. That is the um, allows us to get to the sun station. Our problem has been, though, however, that we've not been able to bypass the cactus or the cacti, however you want to call it. However, I was, like I say, I, I, I looked at something that was Zubai's time stamped. Um, and I noticed that, I think I can get past the cactus cacti. If I was to get here early enough while the sand is still high, because I believe the cactus will still be buried, and I will be able to walk through and get to the walk pad, take me to the sun station. I do believe. So the plan is to get in here as quickly and early as we can, so that we can put that to the test, and hopefully make our way to the sun station. Oh, seems to be working so far. There we go. Okay. Progress has been made. Also, now we have fast travel. Okay, so there is nothing to pick up here by the looks of it. 
So it's just a case of waiting patiently. And we can head on over to the sun station. Right there. Okay. Welcome to the sun station. Hope you enjoy your stay. Okay. 281,042 years ago, no user commands received for 10 minutes. All systems entering sleep. Okay. That's a, that's a long time ago. 6 minutes, 42 seconds ago. Increased solar activity detected. Sun station hull integrity approaching critical levels. Closing emergency doors. Okay, so I wonder if this is... Obviously, we're 6 minutes and 42 seconds into the loop at this point. So if we then back away from that and reread it. Two seconds later. So, yeah, okay. Opens the emergency door. Okay. Well, let's do it. Three minutes of oxygen remaining. Okay. We made it. So we've got quite a few Nomai relics or artifacts here. So let's first of all read the scrolls. Mission, uh, Pi, mission. Science compels us to explode, explode, explode the sun? Explode the sun? I had to double read that. I was like, they want to explode the sun? Okay. Can't we change this? I don't enjoy working in view of such morbid mission statement. But it's accurate. We're going to create a supernova for the purpose of scientific progress. That's our mission. All right. This uh, this just got a bit spicy, didn't it? I'll turn my timer off because uh, the timer's no good. We've got a lot of reading. It's going to be inaccurate. Okay. Our mission is to decide if such an irresponsible feat is even possible. Here's a better one. Mission. Determine if it's possible to prompt the sun to explode. Your lack of sense of humour. Oh, sorry, you lack sense of humour. At least I don't lack sense of ethics. Kindly refrain from going supernova on me before the sun does. So, okay. Theory time. So, interestingly... This talks about going supernova, right? We don't know how how long ago this is. We only know, obviously, that something happened at the beginning of the loop. And I have a hunch that it's got something to do with the um, probe, maybe. Because we see that probe um, breaking apart when the game starts. So... I may be right in thinking at the start of the loop they are doing something which is the start of the supernova event and it takes 22 minutes from them firing that maybe oh does it take 22 minutes from the firing that to the supernova event occurring or is do they does something fire at the end of the 22 minutes because if that was the truth then maybe just maybe there's a chance we could potentially stop the supernova it's getting spicy I'll take this one out just for now. Just in case there are any more. There's another area to explore down there, but I'm gonna go here first. There's 
another statue there. It's not looking though at the minute like there's anything else to learn up here. This just looks like a bit of an observation platform. Head on down here. I wonder if there's any more no my alive. There's a lot of statues. Okay. They were talking to somebody at the Ash Twin project. Okay. What happened? Did the sun station not fire? It fired, Yarrow, but it failed. The sun barely responded. There were inf... inf... Infinit infinitesimally small surface level changes, but they were barely visible, even to the third eye. The sun station is useless. It will never and could never cause the sun to explode. I don't know what comes next, my friends. I suppose we must start over, but I am unsure how to start over. Return to Ash Twin first, my friend. Perhaps a change of task would help. Spire noticed Spire noticed a comet approaching the star system that we'd like to investigate. Pi, I hurt for you, my friend. We all know how hard you've both worked. I can only offer my compassion. How are you? How is Adia? Adea? We're well, Yarrow or as well as can be expected given the circumstances, though disappointed. I may have disagreed with explo exploding the sun, but I never wished the device would fail. I'd hoped our terrible work was not finished. Oh, sorry, I'd hoped our terrible work was finished. Okay, so... The point of this was to blow up the sun. Interesting. Star has reached the end of natural life cycle, now approaching red giant stage. Warning, evacuate the sun station. Approximate time until Sun Station is destroyed by expanding star, 1 minute 58 seconds. Approximate time until star's death, 13 minutes and 58 seconds. Alright, so what, 2 minutes until this station is a goner, then, basically. Okay, we, uh, we best make haste. And this is just what we've all seen before with the three masks. Okay, well, I feel compelled to stay on here until the catastrophe happens. I don't feel like we've got much more here to, much more to explore here on the sun station itself. All right. I guess the uh, the sun station is just going to get far too close to the sun, right? We're just gonna it's just like the the orbital orbit path just gonna I don't know I suppose the um I suppose the structure and integrity's been um weakened so I guess it's just going to pretty much just break apart, right? Yeah. Just...
Or is the sun swelling? Yeah. So I was just, uh, that's what I just sort of alluded to. Okay, so that's the sun station. Done. Uh, so, uh, designed to make the sun go supernova, no matter how the sun station had no effect on the sun, they concluded that the sun station could never cause the sun to go to uh, supernova. After the failure of the sun station, no took a break and investigated newly arrived comet. According to a no computer, our sun has reached the end of its natural life cycle. I wonder if I can, like, take that information to anybody. Everything is pointing, though, to the freaking Ash Twin project, isn't it? Um, yeah. Okay, there's nothing new on that conversation front. It's pretty cool. You see, I, I read that, but I just I just kind of took that to be... I just kind of took that as like something... Like somebody would say in, in, con, in, um, like in a conversation. I didn't really... I didn't really... I guess I didn't really see them mentioning their third eye as anything to be different. I just like I've got an example in my head, and I can't think of like the way to articulate it. But there's there's like sayings that it's almost like if somebody has got like a vision of different strength, and like the, you know they've got like one good eye and one bad eye, and like they would say in passing like something, oh I I I didn't even I couldn't notice a difference even with my good eye sort of thing. I just took that as like a as a as, as a comment in passing i didn't really th think about the fact that their th third eye could be for for anything or or something completely different Okay. Um So now what? Giants deep. Giants deep.
So if you're wondering why I'm saying Giant's Deep, we have um, another unknown here. We still have to find the final part of the probe, which is, we believe, deep, buried deep somewhere in Giant's Deep. I know that didn't really make much sense, that whole spiel, or the way I said that, so I apologise for my bad um, articulation of that. But um, what we know about this is we need to somehow, some way, work out how we get this one over here. We need to work out how we use the jellyfish. Because we need to get in there. And the jellyfish have the answer. Now we have tried a couple of things. And nothing really worked at the moment they kind of seem to I'm my, my latest like thought and theory on this is is there a way that I can get directly underneath these jellyfish I do believe I've got to be like covered by one of by by one of them to be able to get through this electrical field now they're very electrified most of the time. And we've tried to do stuff before with them. However, we've just basically got completely and utterly wrecked and destroyed. Yeah, do not eat the jellyfish though. That's that was a that was an important topic. That we learned. So, yeah, the, the the question is, are they? They don't look like they're electronic right at the bottom here. Sorry, I kind of. I don't want to do that. idea. Uh, they're going down. All right, I'm just going. I'm just going to go for it without the ship. I'm going to go for it. Okay. I think we're through. I think we're through. Can I drop out of the? Okay. We are through. We are through the barrier. There is the probe. So 
What is this? Oh, this is the whole thing. That's interesting. Okay. We have made it. Okay. Now, the question is, have we already read this information? I'm not sure. We may have done already. Imagine, Privet. The probe tracking module will be the first, first to know the coordinates of the eye of the universe. You'll be the first to see them. I think we've seen this. I'm honored and terrified. You won't ask the orbital program to use so much power it breaks, will you? Right not, my nervous friend. We only need to fire the probe once. Anyway, so who minds if it's compromised the orbital probe's structural integrity slightly? I would mind, Mallow. I would mind, because we won't be able, we won't be capable of receiving our probe's data if the probe tracking module is destroyed. Okay. Do we get to read the data then now that we've found the module? Yeah, we have read that before because we didn't get an update. This obviously takes us to this, which is damaged and it's just floating away in space. So, receiving data from probe nine million three hundred and eighteen thousand one hundred and sixty two. Visualizing current current trajectory of probe nine three one eight one six two. It's easier to say that rather than uh, anything else. Okay, so that's doing that. There's anything else to see there, is there? Retrieving previous launch data from the Ash Twin. Total so number of probes launched, 9318162. Deep space anomaly matching all known criteria for the eye of the universe found by probe 9318054. The numbers, what do they mean? What do they mean, LB? Does that mean we found the eye of you? They found the eye of the universe. Retrieving stored coordinates from Ash Twin. Displaying coordinates for the eye of the universe. Okay. So wait a minute. They're the coordinates for the eye of the universe. Does that mean we can now travel to the eye of the universe? Or that we can at least find where the eye of the universe is? They are the coordinates. Also, I saw, I see that number, I'll be the 108. And all I think of is, um, all I think of is lost. The lost numbers uh, added up to. I think, however, we're all done here now. I don't believe there is anything else to do here. 
Nor do I believe... Can I cross that off? Yeah, I can cross that off now. The probe control room, we've done that. There's another projection stone. There's another projection stone. Uh... Is there? Oh, there is another projection stone. An exciting news, Privet. The Astrium project is almost prepared to receive the probe data from the orbital probe cannon. Brammy is adding some finishing touches here, but she'll be finished soon. Are you and the orbital probe cannon well? We are. The statue here in the probe tracking module is ready to record each launch's flight trajectory and will automatically transmit all relevant data to you. Okay. Once the probe determines the location of the Eye of the Universe, I'll send an alert directly to you and Rami. On the other appendage, I am now worried about this cannon structure integrity and its crew's moral integrity. Okay. So they're basically... They're basically saying that they are... Potentially... Crew could be like almost like deviating from the, uh, the path, what they're meant to be doing. Maybe doing something a little bit, uh, lack of a better term, a little bit underhand, maybe. Hmm. Interesting. Um, also, is there no way out of here? In today's episode of Outer Worlds, Nock tries to fly. Okay, next question, is there anything else in the core here of Giant's Deep? Is that everything? Hardest part of this game is getting out of here, yeah, I can, I can, I can imagine. You gotta wait for a jelly jelly to come down for a start. Which uh, isn't too great. Yeah, I'm guessing there's nothing else here. I'm guessing this the core here is just this bit here, right? out the core is easy. Can I just swim to the surface? Got it not. Okay, I guess we can. Yeah, no, we can. We can literally just swim straight out. All right, well. Um, well, I think that's another tick box off of our to-do list. I'll also go and talk to 
getting pulled up by a cyclone. Might uh, go and see if we can have a chat with Gabbro, maybe. Because uh, if I remember rightly, Gabbro is also stuck in the loop, isn't he? Never make it to my ship. So it looks like Cabro's Island is um, on a little excursion. It's fine, actually. Uh, okay, so go and chat to Gabro, see if he's got anything new to tell us. Who looks good? So I can come by and test my little island in space. Dying like that was unpleasant. So, um, found something. Found what happened to the pro cannon. Too much power or other enthusiasm? Well, it was a bit of both, wasn't it, really? Bit too much power. It's kind of scary how much that sounds like something S Slate or Feldspar would do. I'm pretty surprised the Nomai built something that actually broke. Come to think of it, broke might be the wrong word, because it looks like the Orbiter Pro Cannon is still firing successfully at the beginning of each time, lo time loop. Say for the other answer. It's kind of scary. Okay, it's exactly the same thing. I wonder if, like the beginning of the loop, that's like the final launch towards the eye, maybe. As long as minutes of probes, the 9,318,054th probe located a deep space normally matching all known criteria for the eye of the universe. The something rudely goes away as I'm reading. The statue in the probe taken module as manual records each probe's trajectory and transmits the data to the Astrian project. Found no my coordinates marking the location of the eye in the universe. What's that near the white hole? Is that our satellite? Electrical barrier reached the coral forest at the planet's core. Yeah. Oh, sorry. So yeah, our colors. Yeah. So the uh, yeah the white thing is the white hole, isn't it? And then the station is next to it. Okay, makes perfect sense. So what do I do with the coordinates? Maybe Feldspar would be interested with them? Screwed. 
Oh, I don't want that one. I want this one. Damn that duplicate signal. Well, I, I'm, I'm interested to see what Feldspar's got to say because he's like the one that's like been he was the one that had been through the, the barrier on uh, Giant's Deep um, he also seems to be the one that's kind of explored the most from what I remember so yeah I'm, I kind of want to see what Feldspar's got to say first I don't know how much time we've got left uh, to uh, in this loop, though. There is a safer way to his camp, isn't there? But I can't remember which of the like floating islands on the outside is the one with the jellyfish I think this is the one with all the anglerfish isn't it this maze. because I've not put my space suit on. And dead. <laughs> Let's have a round of applause for Nock. Jeez. Yeah, everyone does it once. I've done it probably about three or four times. Pretty sure I've done it multiple occasions already. All right, well, while we're here, we talk to people. details really more home fails domain right yeah I think so somehow some way I could have probably saved that one if um, if um, I actually had some like ground underneath me
See, he's not interested. Of course, I don't know if you've seen him in carbon. As it's still collapsed under its own gravity and exploded in a violent event called supernova based on Chert's observations, this will one day be the fate of our own sun. Alright, so can we maybe speak to Chert about this then? Maybe Chert is the way we go. So. so where was Chert? Was Chert on the moon? Chert on the moon? That's Eska. Right back. Gabro. Yeah, that is Chirp. Yep. Yeah. Okay, he's on the in between. All right, let's go talk to Chirp. Um, you know what, I'm just going to land here, maybe. Can we put the brakes on? Well, not. I mean, you know, that's fine. I, I don't know where I am or where I'm sort of going right now. I don't know how I ended up here. I don't know what day it is. We're just winging it. And we've landed. <laughs> it's like a Willy Wonka song. I will take some jetpack fuel. Uh, I have a question for you. How do I know if I've spotted a supernova? Uh, by zooming with your signal scope, you can tell that they're actually enormous explosions. Massive stars go supernova at the end of their life, which is why someone you've seen it too in every single day. I wonder if these stars are older than we realised. What? I don't... Um, what? You mean to say that there's a modern gnomite out there in other parts of space and they believe the universe, all of it, the whole thing is dying currently, right now? If if that's true, how could I have missed so many signs? Supernovas were there, but I... But I've been studying stars for... Well, that doesn't matter if... Oh, I'm very sorry, but, but I have to look over my charts. I, I hope you don't mind. Yeah. Really looks like you're looking over your charts, Chert. I have to say... Is, is is this what we is this what constitutes looking over charts now? Okay. He doesn't want to talk anymore. Interesting though, he's I don't think I saw that text before about um signal scope. If you can pinpoint a
you can pinpoint a dying star gives off I don't know where you would um, what frequency that would be though oh hold on hold on maybe we can pick up a new frequency from the sun station hmm Ah, okay, well. Yeah, I found one, but... Did he, did he say that, like, you could... Did he say that you could like pinpoint it or just to zoom in with it and you could look at it? I can't remember what he actually said because my short term memory is god awful. Okay, thank you. There's a, there's a lot of supernovas occurring. Everything's fine. Um, I don't like disagreeing with people, but there goes another one. That's a good point, actually. That's a good point, LB. I just saw the jelly in there. never good. Let's go to the shortest one. Well, I it, it, I guess it takes the uh, whatever the speed of light is, right? And off the top of my head, I can't tell you what the speed of light is, so...
nearly three, 300 million meters per second. Is that meters or miles? She's like, what the hell? You ever swan a land in this godforsaken anglerfish? You know what? We're just gonna chill. We're just gonna chill. So, um, so, He's very interested in a lot of what I've got to say, is he? Oh, I went to the core giant steep. Good work. I found a bit of an accident, but let's get it between you and me, hey? Hornfells would have my handsome head if he knew that it had been riding cyclones again. Ships fragile if it can break. You can you can can't subject to extreme conditions, not like I was flying that thing in the sun now, was I? When jellyfish you figured out those two. Actually, I tell you, you've done real well for yourself. You're a fine astronaut, but you might just become a pilot yet. Let me grab up a um, found the nest. We saw attempts to go and show him what's for. Probably best to leave him alone, though. Really, more trouble is worth to mess with anglerfish. Meals. All right, well, um, okay. So, Feldspar was quite disappointing to talk to. So next up, we'll go and talk to Rybeck. We just need to uh, get out of here first. straight back to the camp. Fantastic. Good work, Nock. Good work indeed. I'm sure when I did it before I just sort of like followed a light.
if I can exit. That also sounds like I am dead. Well, that's one easy way to get off uh, off the planet. Okay. So, for the time being. I'll turn these off just for the time being. Just for the simple fact that I think it will help me to keep a better understanding of time. Uh, also, can I get a little height, please? Shall we? I think we should. <laughs> you was hoping my ship would take off without me? A bit mean, LP. It's a bit mean. Port. Oh gosh, I need to remember where. Where's the. I think it's the gravity cannon? I think if my memory serves me right, there is a shortcut near the gravity cannon. Smoke trail's a shortcut. Uh, at the minute. Um, Mika, I'm just trying to talk to everybody. Just to see if anyone's got anything different to offer up with regards to information. Um, just just to clarify, though, I'm not going crazy, am I? There was a shortcut near the gravity cannon, wasn't there? Pretty sure. No? Pretty sure there's a shortcut on one of these planets near a gravity cannon then.
Isn't the uh, actually thing about it? Isn't the shortcut here? It's in the ice, isn't it? So yeah, I guess I'm thinking of the wrong planet. Can I ask you something? Um, found the vessel. It's incredible. Congratulations. That means they they really were from far outside the solar system. Ha, huh? I knew it. But that creates so many new questions. If they didn't come from our solar system, where did they come from? Are they from our galaxy or somewhere even further? What were their lives like before here and why did they come here? Hey, I might not be much of an astronaut, but I'm really glad. I came out here to see the Nomai artifacts myself, and uh, thanks for telling me about the vessel, I mean. Um, let's just to go through them all. I don't know if we've read this or not. Uh, it's amazing. Hard to believe someone's uh, saying something here. It really makes you appreciate living in Timber Hearth. You know, somewhere there's a bit of a... Yeah, okay, we've we'll definitely read that one. Um... Visit the Hangar City. Oh gosh, was it amazing, beautiful, was it scary? The Hangar City is where the Nomad settled permanently on Brittle Holiday. It was the most advanced settlement here. Why they choose to build the most advanced settlement close to you know what is beyond me, but maybe that kind of thing makes sense for a Nomad though. Maybe you need it for the black hole or something. I've uh, definitely read that before. Here's another Nomad City in the in between. That's incredible. The whole city I had no idea. That's great. How did I keep the sand out? How does it keep the sand out? If it were me, I'd be nervous about getting buried in the caves. This awful river of sand. Gosh, the Nomai was such ingenious building. The time sat on the ground. The sun of the city. Wow. This means that there were two groups of Nomai. One that lived on in between and one that lived here on Brittle Hollow. But they must have travelled around the solar system since Nomai writing can be found on other planets too. A pilgrimage to Quantum Moon. The Nomai mentioned the quantum moon in a lot of their writings, so it was clearly special to them, and uh, special enough to make a trip there by themselves. It sounds like a coming-of-age ritual, like like how hatchlings stay hatchlings until their stomachs are strong enough to drink sap wine. Maybe once and once know my journey to quantum moon, they were considered an adult? Maybe. Oh, wow, wow. So that's how the Nomai died. That's really sad, isn't it? I know it, I knew I know it was a long time ago, but still, stars above it's lucky we hadn't evolved in t to live on land yet. I think if the comet hadn't have k killed them, our species may have coexisted in the solar system. That would have been amazing. But I guess if we hadn't wanted to learn when the nomad disappeared, I'd have never left Timber Hearth and come out here, or any of these advantage adventures. Don't get me wrong, space is terrifying, but you know it has its moments. Um Ah, that doesn't make any sense. Don't understand. I'm very excited for you, though. P please stop yelling. What? On the quantum moon, you said? That's sort of... There's a sort of living nomai on the quantum moon. Well, why didn't you say so? Oh, wow. This is the best thing that's ever happened in our history in the Outer World Ventures. I can't believe you talked to natural nomai. Great. So I just have to go back in space, fly to quantum moon with zero visibility, find a spooky ruin, and travel through a few different types of dangerous terrain to get there. Okay, yeah, that's not so bad. That's probably doable. Okay. So, um, yeah, okay. Okay, so that's Robeck dealt with. Um, go back to the ship. I guess just going around each of them at the minute and just finding if there's any like tidbits of conversation we haven't already had with them is the way to go here Ultimately, we need to be finding how to get into the Ash Twin project. Although we're sharing our knowledge here with um, our fellow Outer Wild Ventures people, 
I don't think we're going to find the answers by talking to them. Really? That's interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, I'm not going to make that. So, to coexist, Mika, um, so let's say, like, in, in the terms of, like, the way it was used in the game here, a moment ago, crap, all the places, uh, yeah, the, the, the way it was used in the game here, a moment, and there goes my ship, excellent, fantastic, and uh, the way it was used in the, in the game is where, um two species or or like so my our species the hearthians and the nomai would sort of coexist and live together in the on the planets and in the universe and like they would coexist and share ideas potentially and work together maybe um somebody else who can articulate a little bit better than myself maybe um, explain as well. Okay, so we've been there, we've been there. Um, so we've been, been to all of these ones. Let's go next to the Atarok. Go and speak to Eska. Yo, what's going on, test chamber, test chamber junkie? How you doing, buddy? Welcome, welcome. Good to hear. I believe I am stuck on a tree. Fantastic. Oh, hey, it's you. Ground control and tell me you're launching. Long time to see. Um... All right, well, I don't have anything to add to the conversation. There'll be more to speak with Chirp. I mean, he's on the Ash Twin, for so. So I just got absolutely yeeted off that planet. That was bizarre. Abort! Abort! <laughs> Dead. <laughs> the bomb's probably more. Uh, um. <laughs> the bomb's probably more of a. Um, Okay, so what I'm thinking then, if, if you're saying that, LB, maybe what I'm thinking is, um, I 
do what I did previously with Chert, and that I tell him, which makes him look at his charts, right? And then maybe after a little while, he'll have something different to say, perhaps. Loaded, does it? Okay. Okay. I mentioned it may have been frozen solid or just partially made of ice like a much colder giant's deep. It's hard to say it used to be the fifth planet in our solar system. Notice of course that there's no, there's no such planet now in its place Star Bramble which, how you put it, grew into space. The fifth planet used to occupy the Star Brambles quite literally appeared at the centre of the fifth planet and began destroying from the inside out. Eventually the planet shattered completely in its virtual space. Some of these Um, some of these shards collided with celestial bodies in our solar system such as the Atarok which I believe is how its biggest crater was formed okay I'm fascinated my interest in the known existence of this planet entirely plausible if you look at the physics of our solar system it would just have to be incredible, incredibly far out there, further than Harthian and ships will be able to travel. And honestly, we don't know all that much about what's out there. The further you go, the less we know, and such is it's well within the realm possibility that such a planet exists. Oh yes, everyone looks good mystery, don't they? Who wouldn't wonder about the moon that's sometimes there and sometimes not? I'd say the quantum moon orbiting each of the five planets, but sometimes it quite simply disappears from the sky altogether. Uh, maybe there's another place it travels to. Unfortunately, if it's there, I've never seen it. Perhaps it's like a close look at these stars charts. Is that what's in orbit around the sun, then, do you think? There's this sun station? Quite clever, then I might devise a way to study the sun up close and personal. It must have been tremendously difficult to construct and hot inside, I can only imagine. I wonder how they were able to travel back and forth to the sun station in the hourglass twins. With the slightest slip up you would have been many f meant a fiery death. So, um... Can't tell you about the vessel though. It's this one, the about saying that the universe is dying, I assume is what you mean, LB. Not the one about um Okay. Okay. So Okay. Alright, so 
We obviously don't know how much time we are going to need to pass here. But effectively, Chert is out here mapping stars, right? So let's wait five minutes. Obviously, at this point as well, the um, the sand is going to have risen considerably, and will continue to rise over time. Kind of one to dead, I'd give it a seven or eight. Awfully pretty though. Right now, send this flying from the astronaut to Emerton, but did you know the process eventually reverses? We're not completely sure why the sun flows back and forth between the twins, but it seems to be a natural phenomena. Or if you'd like to see something interesting, check out the other twin once in a while. Uh, once a little more of its sand drains, I promise you won't be disappointed. Say, so, you're back. Have you noticed anything unusual about the stars lately? Something seems how to put this off. I've seen, what, 10 supernovas already? 12? They're in double digits now, and that's, you know, not normal. Not normal at all. Was there something you needed? Um, why are so many stars going to supernova? I have no idea. Massive stars going to supernova the mission alive. Maybe the models are wrong and they don't live for as long as we expected. Honestly, I'm not fond of either option. If a charts are wrong, what else is wrong? And our sun? No, I shouldn't jump to conclusions. I'll probably overlook something. That's it. I just need to collect more data. Okay, so let's let him connect more data, perhaps. So we'll give him another five minutes. Turn my timer off because we're going to be way under at this point wait number five then we've slept for ten which will leave about four minutes uh, about four or five minutes left in the loop based on my timer calculations okay this uh, the sun is Going pretty high. Oh, I was in the wrong thing. Well, we're next, you understand? Our sun. By Herf's name, we're next. What do you mean we're next? It's the stars, you see. All the other stars are dying out. Oh, why did we have to be born at the end of the universe and our sun? It, the star charts, why? Why did it... Why did I want to update them so badly? I don't... I don't, didn't have to know, but no, oh no, I had to update the star charts, I had to go looking for things I shouldn't have, and now our son is about to, about to, oh, I don't feel well, I'd like to be alone please.
think uh... yeah um well Oh wow, yeah, I guess I see what you mean, LB, actually, yeah. There's like, there does seem to be like a lot less stars around our solar system now than there was, uh, than there were originally. There's, um, supernovas popping off all over the place, isn't there? I'm guessing shit. Okay, let's sit together and watch the stars die. Oh, I chose the wrong one. I guess we could have, um, I don't know, we, we could have got some sort of, some other kind of end game here, I guess. I don't know if like this whole end thing would have been any different if I hadn't mentioned the loop. I mean, we can always come back in a moment and um, see if anything different uh, happens. drum chair. Alright, so... Um... I, I do kind of want to, like, play that out with a different ending. Um... But, I guess... I don't really know if I want the answer. I don't want to waste... Obviously, I don't want to, like, put you guys through it again if it's nothing, but... Um, is there anything different happen there if I choose, like, the other option? Or another option, I guess I should have probably said. I mean, look at all the stars here now, look. Again, it's just, like, a, quite a, an amazing detail that over the time these start like all of these stars just slowly start dying off it's um as Ollie says okay so it's probably not worth it then and just by an unusual number of house recently all of the stars in the universe are dying including our sun church has become Catatonic in response to our son's imminent death. Okay. Um, so all roads are pointing now to this.
The Ash Twin Project. Um, as orange, I see it's red LB. Okay, so, um, how the warps work. Sensation Ash Twin. Yeah, to me that's red. Red. Um, random question. Rand random question. Um, before the DLC, was the radio tower on Timberhearth, or was that added on afterwards? It was added afterwards. Okay. There you go. I mean, it would kind of, I guess it makes sense that it was added afterwards. I mean, I don't work out what we're going to do here. I was thinking is there a way that we can like fly into that but I guess there isn't really like anything controlling that is there it's just literally sand falling from one planet to the other there's no real like entry or exit point to it The hole. Where's the repair point for the hole? Yeah, that's pretty much all I asked, LB, was just, um, anyway, um, just whether or not it was there previously or if it was, if it is solely, um, DLC. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's, um, 
I need to kill some time, so let's go to... Okay, let's camp. Oh, wait a second. Hold on. Hold on a moment. This was for the quantum moon, wasn't it? All right. So, um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I'm gonna go here. Oh, no, that's a quantum moon. I don't want the quantum moon. I want the. Get out of here. On the owl, owl rock. Now. This thing here. Is there a way? Because that's what this, this place was for, right? This place was to find the location of the eye, no? Sensitive device you want to locate the eye of the universe. Okay, so where were the other? Where were the others? That's not the one. to moon locator <laughs> observatory
Uh, so I need to remember how to get into the observatory. Got about 10 minutes left. We need to go to... Ah, oh, I can't remember. Um, is Brittle Hollow the... I can't remember. Is Brittle Hollow the place with the, the Black Hole Forge? That's just going to drag me down there, isn't it? This, okay. Is there a shortcut to the observatory from the... I'm rushing now because I know that like we're running out of time. I need to get like below the surface. And I don't know the best way to do that. That's a very good point, LB. You cannot. All right, we're going to go straight to... If a loop is 20 minutes and I stream three hours per loop and we're on episode 14, that's uh, nine loops an episode. So we'd be on episode number 100. Well, we'd be around 100 and 136-ish. No, 126-ish. We'd be between 120 and 100 and... Oh, that's about right, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Well, that's something. That's something all right. And normal services resumed. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, 
I'm looking for once again the gravity cannon. I'm all over the place with this flying at the minute. you I'm getting frustrated I'm rushing and I'm getting frustrated need to slow it down Done it again. What? Um, I have no idea what just happened there. Yeah, I think that's my issue at the minute, if I'm completely honest. definitely rushing because I feel like I'm getting close to the end. Okay, does this lead to the crossroads? No, this is the observatory. Okay, this is the way we need to go. So though, please don't feel like uh, you know, please don't apologize on my behalf. You know, I'm the one playing the game, I'm the one taking the risks, rushing around like a bull in a crockery shop. Oh, that is not there. Over here. Just that my issue, obviously, being over here on um, the um, the issue I have with this planet course is it falls apart and you don't want to be stuck in the wrong place when that starts to happen okay I need to get my bearings a minute can I go up here 
We can. No, 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 no. Oh, thank goodness for gravity crystals. Not sure why I fell off there, but we did. Okay. Just one of that cyclone small than anything. We want to be up there, though, don't we? Okay, we want... The eye. There's no way to... Surely somewhere there's got to be a way to punch in the coordinates. There's no notes on any of the others. They just they're just located, I guess. Okay, well that was a bit of a bust. I wonder, you know, if we need to talk to somebody back on our home planet again now, because Chert's mentioned, we, we've learned from Chert about, like, the supernova events, which we didn't know before. science so where was the third I mentioned the construction yard This is where they built it.
So where's the third? Probe cannon? Okay. Can I do anything then with the... Hmm. anything new I can do then with the, that information on the other parts of the of the probe oh yeah it's, okay dumb moment Alright, let's just go to... Oh, what am I doing? Why did I get out of my seat? Ash twin, like the glow. Interesting. Must be. Mm. I'm missing something, I feel, of some like pretty big importance and that is how do we get into the ash twin project itself
I'm pretty sure we've been to these towers when everything drained away. And we found very little. Okay, is there anything here, or is this just literally going to... It just literally takes me up to the top, doesn't it, I think? Alright Mika, thanks for hanging buddy as always, appreciate it, a good sleep. Uh, catch you next time. I feel like if there was something to find it would be this sandy area. Three and a half minutes left until the loop begins to end. Seems like a bit of a, of a weird statement is that the loop begins to end. Very interesting um, terrain. Ship, ship is this way. Pretty sure when we came here before, there's a hole we could have come out of. Then there's literally just nothing at the bottom. Uh, I did use a scout on some of the war pads. That's um, 
how I kind of saw or, or I was able to see what was going on at the sun station before I worked that one out, LB. I mean, waiting here is just not the right thing to do, is it? I mean, I'll try again. Hold it. <laughs> uh, this one goes to the Black Hole Forge. tried that LB. I'm honest. I've not tried that. Obviously I've toyed with the idea about like trying to enter the sand column. But it doesn't work for us, so I mean we can try it with Scout. You know what? The other thing I just thought of. What if I'm going about this wrong? Did I try this before? I, I can't remember. Okay. Let's just uh, a pocket of nothingness and that was MySQL doing its midnightly routine again. Move it out the way of the funnel.
Okay, well I guess for this to work then we would need to put it in its path. Make it stationary. If it's travelling it seems like it just continues its trajectory. Bit of a long and convoluted way to remind me, but okay. Scout is in place. Have I ever tried funnel cake? Um, no, but I've heard of it. Alright, so the scout stays in place. What does that mean? and myself. Mm. I've done it on the sun station, so I don't really see that doing it there again would benefit me anything. Am I burning through fuel? on the warp pad though, wouldn't it? I don't know if this one still works, so or not. The awkward moment you are stood on a cactus. Where is that? Um I 
Okay. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. I was just about to say, you know what's not great? In fact, I'm almost out of fuel and oxygen. If only this warp platform would come round and we could warp and there would be trees on the other side of the warp platform. That would be like the ultimate clutch move. But we are out of oxygen. Right, as the planet's coming around. Alright. Alright. One more loop, guys, would you say? One more loop for the road. It's the whole waiting though that's a bit like meh. <laughs> I mean, I suppose what I could do is I could go chill with Chirp for a minute or two. if I can. I feel like my ship's gonna like move. I don't know why. All right, let's let's go forward five minutes. I don't know how long it takes the um, I don't know how long it takes the planet to revolve the moon, or the planet to uh, or sorry, the planet to orbit the moon, or the planet to orbit the planet. I think they're both planets technically, aren't they? All right, I'm actually going to go just four minutes.
And my ship was over here. That's the sun. So I want the next one. Don't feel like All right the ship's the ship's doomed, to be honest. The ship's a gonna. Is it this one? No. This one. Okay. We're at 14 minutes till the end of the loop. So bye bye to my ship. Maybe I was right. And by maybe by saying maybe I was right, what I mean by that is maybe I should have been on the other side. So we're going to hit the sun. We continue that trajectory. Damn that giant ball of gas. There is two, or well, there are two, um, there are two platforms there that we can utilize, aren't there? French call imbecile. I don't know if this makes a bit of difference or not, but
question is, does it take us to the same place? Constantly turning and moving. There, that looks like the masks in there, I have to say. You can see the scout, but the scout is like literally orbiting the planet. So hold on, if the scout is orbiting the planet, is that showing me or identifying to me somewhere where I can potentially... I don't, I, it's like it's orbiting the inside of the planet. building
They were building a chamber. Remind all from this site to craft a protective shell designed to physically seal off the central chamber inside the Ash Twin. Once the shell was finished, the Nomide checked to ensure there were no longer any physical entrances or cracks. Something happened. So they took the mine, the they took the they took the ore. From the from Timber Hearth, right? This the the mines were on Timber Hearth, if I remember rightly.
Um, was it just me, or is this? It might just be this. I oh know we're moving because it's sound. It's alright. It just to, to me, it looked like. Um, It looks like we were moving. These this sort of these rocks here are kind of reminiscent almost of Ah oh, call it back, you idiot. The rocks are kind of reminiscent of the inside. Of that, um, the inside. Um, so I assume these two, these two things here. These two things here, I would, if I had to take a guess, are the things that are connected to the other end of those spinning things we can see from the scout. And it's almost like it's drawing in power. from something oh I really just ha I had an idea or a thought worst time to get a thought I think I know how we get in there I think I know how we get in there. We're going over time, boys and girls. We're going over time. So, what we've learned about that warp pad, right, is the scout can stay on the warp pad and not get affected by the sand funnel. Okay? 
we stand on the warp panel. We get drawn off it by the funnel and sent to who knows where. However, what if we wait and we wait until all the sand has drained from the Ash Twin, there is no longer a funnel, and we stand on that warp location? Now, I know we're dangerously close to the end of the loop at that point, but... The point is, we should survive because inside the core, it is supernova proof. This could be a very, this could be a very um, dumb decision on my part because this could lead us to somewhere which This could lead us to a, a, a point in the game where there's no turning back. And then we could be sat here for an extended period of time. If that's the case... Okay, I, I, this, this is literally just theory testing at this point because... Um, that's right. I thought, I was like, what is that dark thing there? Okay, this is just going to be theory testing. Because, um... It's late, and I really do need to go to bed. And I don't want to get drawn into, like, something which is potentially going to go on for an extended period of time. If that makes sense. Oh my goodness, I'm just going so freaking fast away from this moon, this sun. I'm going to make the freaking at this rate, at this rate. Well, the sand is still funneling at this point, so we're still good. sleep well the fact that I only get like probably five or six hours sleep a, day, a night anyway um, those five or six hours are pretty precious to me this one.
just need to wait until the Ember Twin comes back. I need to check the funnel status. And hopefully. Hopefully, there is no funnel. Okay, it's on its way back. Uh, still a funnel though. Okay, it's going to have to go around again. Fortunate. If only there was a way to kind of like just host time scale times four times eight. Also, one thing I've noticed is I know we've got a spacesuit on, but we can uh, we can actually withstand uh, quite a bit of heat. It seems. All right, we've got one more opportunity here to get through this. Yeah, I, I can imagine. There is a lot going on. And it's not like it... Um, I, I think I'm right in saying it doesn't unload anything. The whole world is constantly running everywhere. Truth, of course, it was going to happen right at the end of the loop as well. It's like a last ditch attempt at like freaking survival right here. On that bombshell, I want to say thank you very much, everybody, for um, tuning in. I appreciate your support, guys. Thank you very much. Outer Wilds will return. Um, all right, we're going to come back on Saturday. We are going to come back on Saturday, and we're going to bang our head against the wall and the door and the desk and anything else we can bang our heads against to try and um, work out how we get inside that Ash Twin. I, I thought there for a second it was almost like perfectly timed. 
it would have been perfectly timed to have stood on that platform and um, got into the Ash Train right as the supernova is a, is a, event is occurring. But alas, it wasn't to be. Thank you very much for tuning in there, guys. I really do appreciate your support. And until next time, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Stay safe. Take care. Happy gaming. Bye, guys.